the telescope was first patented in 1608. Galileo is the first human being who scanned the sky with one of these devices. But, this date would have to be revised and placed much further back. Exactly 3,000 years ago, in ancient Mesopotamia, all this because of the Nimrod lens. It is also known as the layered lens. It is the oldest optical instrument that is preserved. It could be part of a telescope that the Assyrians used to observe the universe. In 1850, a British explorer Sir John Mayard found in the old palace of Nimrod a strange circular object. It was a small circular crystal, a little oval, flat and resembling a modern lens. Sir John, convinced that his find was very special, immediately he delivered it to the British Museum. Further analysis would prove that the lens is incredibly ancient. It was built more than 3,000 years ago by unknown artisans of the Assyrian Empire. However, what was its function? Why is there only one of them? Why was not this useful technology adopted, but was forgotten for almost two millennia? These were only the first questions associated with the surprising discovery. The lens is slightly oval and was roughly ground, perhaps on a lapidary wheel. It has a focal point about 11 cm from the flat side, and a focal length of about 12 cm. This would make it equivalent to three times magnifying glass. The surface of the lens has 12 cavities that were opened during grinding, which would have contained naphtha or some other fluid trapped in the raw crystal. The lens is said to be able to focus sunlight, although the focus is far from perfect. Because the lens is made from natural rock crystal the material of the lens has not deteriorated significantly over time. The Nimrod lens is on display in the British Museum. In 1850 the first archaeologists were just beginning to discover the nature of ancient societies. It was hoped that future excavations would provide more clues as to the function of the peculiar find. However, decade after decade there was nothing but silence. It seemed that the object found by Sir John was unique among the Assyrians. The British Museum's way of dealing with this mystery is somewhat peculiar. The museum states that the lens had little or no practical use. It has surely remained a curiosity or a ritual object. However, few lines later the museum itself states that although this piece of crystalline rock has been carefully carved and shined, undoubtedly has optical properties, these are possibly somewhat accidental. The function of the lens is not clear, with some authors suggesting that it was used as an optical lens, and others suggesting a decorative function. Assyrian craftsmen made intricate engravings, and could have used a magnifying lens in their work. The discoverer of the lens noted that he had found very small inscriptions on Assyrian artifacts, which he suspected had been achieved with the aid of a lens. Italian scientist Giovanni Pettinato of the University of Rome has proposed that the lens was used by the ancient Assyrians as part of a telescope, and that this explains their knowledge of astronomy. Experts on Assyrian archaeology are unconvinced, doubting that the optical quality of the lens is sufficient to be of much use. It is not necessary to explain the reason why many consider this position foolish. It is, in truth, a unique object. How can we explain the mystery of a layered lens? Could it be that they actually found it by chance? In any case, no one knows for sure how the layered lens worked, and surely by now nobody can know. It is a mystery that will continue to ignite the imagination of academics and fans of ancient history. What do you think? Leave your comment below.